construction mode right now and we want to show you the most important accessory for van life no matter the season but especially in winter. This amazing accessory is your window covers. We have two windows in the back, a side window on the door, and then the entire front cab to cover. We technically already had this done, but we noticed a couple flaws in our original design that we're now getting the chance to fix. First, let's go to the front cab and see what we've got. The front cab is where you're either gonna lose a ton of heat or let in the bright sunshine rays that are gonna wake you up in the morning and sweat you out of your van. So it is super important to have window covers for the entire front cab. Step one, take your construction paper and make a frame of your window. Oh, I broke it. And then you just, you make it perfect, okay? You've already done that part, good job. Take your template and lay it down on your Reflectic, trace it out, and cut it. So this is like a small game of Twister. <laughs> you got it, babe. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off. Yeah. Just so that that looks tucked in. more flush. Um, but then I think we're done. Nice job, baby. We purchased our side window covers from Amazon. It was a really cheap, like $30 buy. They're specific fit for the ProMaster, and they stick on with little suction cups. The great thing about these window covers is that they are perfectly fit. They have this nice seam around the outside. It's made of Reflectix, which is the same thing we're gonna have in all of our window covers. So it blocks the heat and the cold from getting in. And the suction cups actually work pretty well. The downside is that your windows get gross. Alex also makes me lick all of them. She doesn't really do the licking. I have to do the licking and sticking at night. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Full contract mode. We recovered this nub because we didn't realize that being next to the door, it would get wet all the time, and the fabric was really dirty. Perfect. Ooh, baby, one shot wonder, huh? Nice. Much more sustainable. We have two windows in the back of our space. Covering these is a lot more about privacy than anything else. So we've got these super simple window covers. It's reflective on the inside, but in the back here, I like to cover them with fabric. Because it is your home, you want it to feel more homey. If it was still just the silver or metallic, it definitely wouldn't have that vibe. So just a block of reflective, nice pattern on the inside, black on the outside to give the illusion that nobody's home. And then these just fit nice and snug inside the space. As you can see, there's no light coming through, so that helps us sleep at night, as well as makes it to where nobody could even peek through a crack. The downside of these back windows is that it gets so dark in here, you could literally sleep until the middle of the day and not realize. Is that is there a downside to that? Sometimes it's really good. I don't hear the downside. <laughs> The mistake that I made with these back windows originally was thinking that there was metal that you could use magnets to. So the original covers I had for back here actually had magnets to kind of help them stay in place. Little did I know that the metal of this window isn't actually magnetic it's at aluminum. all. It's some sneaky aluminum, which magnets don't stick to. So I had magnets on these for absolutely no reason. So I cut them out and I'm gonna use them on the side door because I actually put not enough magnets on the side door. You wanna show them how you sew it all up? Let's do it. This side window is obviously the biggest space in the back where we're gonna be letting in light and we have the biggest window cover for it. Now, the problem that I did again was thinking that this black stuff was metallic. It's aluminum and it is not magnetic. The only magnetic part of this is the actual frame of the van. This time around, I need to make this piece bigger so that it fits around the whole metallic outside. Me metal outside? I don't is know. Metallic a, metallic metallic like is metallic a color. Metallic is my fancy color. Like when it shimmers. Everything is metallic. Like this is metallic, I think. The other issue that we've discovered with this side window cover is potentially with the way that we store it. So when it's up here, it's fine, but then when we want to see out the window, we'll drop it low and just let the magnets grab on to the metal of the van. This is really great and keeps it out of the way and actually makes it look kind of cute down there, 
But when you open the slide door and it's down there... Because we don't have enough magnets on it and it starts to crinkle up once it hits the side door and the magnets on this side get stuck to the wall on that side and then it pulls the dirt away from the wall when we're pushing open the door. So maybe it's a good thing we're actually cleaning the outside of the van with our window cover. Which is pretty much the only way we clean it. <laughs> <laughs> to alleviate it this time, I'm actually going to make it so that A, there's more magnets, and B, I'm going to put a zipper on it so that we could always unzip it, take it out, and wash it. These back window covers, I didn't put a zipper on. What is it, buddy? I didn't put a zipper on the back window covers because we never really touched them in six months of living with them. They never really got dirty, so I'm not actually super worried about those, but this side one just looks gross. Sure. Did you want to be back here with us? Want to hang out? Did you want to be on camera? You want to be in the video? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's head on inside to the sewing nook and we're going to get this bad boy all sorted out. Step one, cut it up. I'm going to be removing all of the fabric from this and taking the magnets out. So there's, I don't know, 10 magnets in here and I want to save all of them for the redo. I used rare earth magnets because they're supposed to keep their magneticism over time. As we mentioned, this piece is too small for the window opening, so I actually need to add some inches to each side, which I'm gonna do with duct tape. If you're starting from the beginning and you have your full roll of Reflectix, just please, please, please measure, cut a piece that's too big, fit it in. I was in a very big rush when I was building these originally. That doesn't look good. And that's why they're all kind of mined up. So let's add some extra inches. Seems legit, right? Now that we've got our Reflectic ready to go, it's time to do our fabric. If you're not so skilled with the sewing machine, you're gonna wanna choose a pattern that's a little bit whoopy. So it doesn't matter if your lines are perfectly straight. If you have a really geometric print and your lines are off or your cuts are off, it's gonna look horrible. But if you have something that's a little bit more abstract, you'll be fine. I'm gonna lay out my Reflectic on the fabric on the floor, make sure everything is nice and flat, and then I'm gonna mark where the Reflectic is, kind of like just line it out with pen. Now I'm gonna give myself a half inch buffer on every side and that's where I'm gonna cut the fabric out. Now that we have the pattern side cut out, we're gonna move on to the black side. On this one, I actually want to install a zipper because like we said, it's kind of gonna get dirty and it's harder to clean. So for the zipper, you actually need one extra inch on each side. So just make your marks and cut it out. Time to sew. First things first, we're gonna deal with this zipper. For the two in the back, you did not need to do any of this. It was much simpler, but for the one on the side, we're gonna make it annoying. I ironed a crease into here where I want the zipper to go, and now we're gonna sew a line straight at the half inch mark. All right, I'm gonna go forward a couple of stitches, and then I'm gonna go back a couple of stitches, and then I'm gonna take it the whole way down. Quick back stitch to lock it in place. Oh. Yeah. Now you're gonna take a pair of sharp scissors and cut this open. So that little pocket that you just made is getting cut in half. Now that we've got the zipper foot attachment on, we're just gonna go down one side of the zipper and then the other side of the zipper, closing it at the top, kind of like doing a box around the whole zipper, and that should be good. Now all you have to do is open up the very first stitch that you made, and then your zipper will be hidden behind these two little flaps. Easy as that, minus and it took three tries and many, many hours. For the magnets, I've made these little pockets. 
So it was super easy on the sewing machine, just up, down, around, and over. Shoved the magnet in, closed it shut. I have 12 of these pockets that are gonna go on the top and the bottom. On the sides, it's a little bit trickier because of the way that the window is shaped, but I'm gonna sew these ones inside so you're not gonna see them at all, which means I'm pinning them inside. It's tricky. I have my good sides lined up together. So good side to good side and then laid flat, make sure it's nice and even. Then you take the inside pockets. I want them to be on the black side, but because I can only see the lines for sewing on the white side, I have to pin them underneath. So this is where I want this one. I'm gonna sneak it underneath, line it up with my pen mark, and pin it in place. I'm doubling up around the zipper, so one close to each side of the zipper because I feel like that's where it's gonna be the heaviest, and then just spreading it out the whole rest of the way. I've got all that pinned, now I'm gonna work on the short side. For these two sides, we want the magnetic pocket to go outside the actual sewn part. For these ones, I made the same kind of magnetic pocket, I just made it longer, and then I flipped it inside out so you couldn't see any of the seams. And then I plopped the magnet into there. Now I've got two for each side, and I'm gonna have them kind of flooping out because they have to get around that aluminum piece to stick to the metal of the van. So we're gonna lift this flap up, slide it in, and then pin it here. I'm actually gonna switch back to my zipper foot because it's shorter on this one side. I'll be able to get closer to the magnets. Theoretically. All right, now I just have to position my fabric in a way that makes sense. The tricky part now, too, is that all the magnets want to stick to each other. So you're going to have to be very careful when you're sewing. All right, here goes nothing. I'm at my first magnet. I'm going to pull the pin out and say a little prayer to the gods of sewing. So I can see the pocket and it's sewn in there. So I think we're good. So let's keep rolling. The only thing you really have to make sure going the whole way around is that you unzip the zipper a little bit so that you can actually pull it through. If you sew the whole thing with the zipper fully zipped up, you won't be able to unflip it. Yeah. I think I broke the needle. Oh, I definitely broke the needle. Eep, I broke the needle good. I did literally what I just told you not to do, which was hit a magnet. I'm surprised the magnet was even there because this is one of the deep pockets. It should have been all the way over, but it should have checked. I'm gonna unzip it some more. This is why you need to make sure you have the hole. Let's flip this bad boy right side out. So far, so good. Floopy floppers on the side here. So that worked perfectly. Then the ones along the bottom are all hidden on the inside. So these are my floppers on the outside and my hidden ones on the inside. I am going to insert the Reflectic. Is the window cover saving you from the rain? Yeah, it doubles as a rain guard. Um, it's also definitely getting wet in the window, so. Okay, come on. So this fits better because it's a little floopy at the top because I did it with tape. It definitely fits better over, but this part is still magnetic, so that actually works out well. Then the bottom is magnetized to the metal down here. Perfect. And my little tabs around the side easily reach over and grab the metal. The only thing is you have these little like uh, openings here, babe. Shut your mouth, all right? Well, fine. I'm just, I can see it on the camera. So why don't you pull it this way more? There you well, go. Well, we're just trying to like. Yeah, fit it. Fit it. Well, I think that looks great. Once you pulled it over a little bit, it looks, it looks amazing actually.
I know some people say that when you cover all the Reflectix, it doesn't work anymore, which I don't believe at all because we've had window covers like this for over two years and they do an amazing job of blocking out the cold in the winter and the hot in the summer. When you pull these down, you can immediately feel the temperature difference from the window to the cover. So these work really well. They are the essential accessory for any van lifer and this was dirt cheap to make so you could do it too.